Hi, it's Adam with webstarts.com. Thanks for tuning in. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can create a photo gallery for your clients, send them a unique link so they're the only ones who can see that photo gallery or album, and then how they can download that entire album in a single click just by clicking on this icon right here in full resolution. All right, let's move on over to webstarts.com. If you haven't already signed up for an account, you can create a free website at webstarts.com. Just click get started, it's free. In the second step, you're going to select a template for your website. You can select any template. They're all 100% customizable and can be changed at any time. So there's no way to make a mistake. You can use this little sidebar to find a template in your specific category or search by a keyword if you want. I've already created a website and account on WebStart. So I'm just going to log in by clicking on the login button right there and then clicking again here. Now that I'm logged into my WebStarts website, I'm going to edit the pages of my website by hovering over the thumbnail and clicking Edit Site. This loads what we call the page editor, and in the page editor, you can select the specific page that you want to edit from the drop-down menu in the top left. The page that I'm editing for this demo video is called Gallery, so I'm just going to select it. And then you can see the page that we were looking at earlier is now loaded in the page editor. So the first thing that I want to call your attention to is just the ability to create this photo gallery itself. You can add a gallery to the page just by clicking add and then selecting gallery. And that brings up the photo gallery modal there. You'll click add images and then you can add images from either your local computer by uploading them, or you can select images that you've previously uploaded like the ones that I've already uploaded for this wedding, or you can even add images that you search for in our image library. And you can search by keyword, category, or color. For this demo, like I said, I have already uploaded all of these images for this wedding. So what I did is I just selected the images that I wanted to add to the gallery itself. And then I just clicked insert file. And then I added that photo gallery to my web page. All right, once that photo gallery is on your page, just like this, you can change the style of it just by clicking on the style brush and click customize style. And you can do things like add image spacing between each photo, as well as adjust the colors and the effects that you want those photos to have. So if you have a certain look that you're going for, you can pretty much accomplish any look you want for that photo gallery using web starts. The next thing that I want to call your attention to is just the fact that if you're sending these to a specific client, you don't want other clients to see the photos uh, of each other, then just give each one of your page names a unique name and then hide the, those pages from the menu. And you can do that by clicking on pages. So I named that one gallery, which really should have been called Jen and Kyle special day or something so I could recognize it more, but I called it gallery. So I'm just going to make sure that gallery is hidden from my menu. So when people come to my website, they don't see a link to that specific page. And as long as you do that and you send that unique URL to your client, then they're not going to just guess the name of another page on the website that can't be found through navigation. So that's a helpful tip. The other thing is that you probably want to allow them to download their photos in full resolution so they can take them to uh, a place to have them printed. And the way that I did that is I created those photos in a zip file and I'm on a Mac, but if you're on a PC, it's a little bit different. I, to be honest with you, I don't know it, how to do it on a PC, but uh, on a Mac, all you do is you place the photos that you want into a single file or folder, I'm sorry, and right click on the folder and then select the compress option. And then you can give it a name. Once you have the zip file, just go insert and then choose file and then upload and then select that zip file from your local computer. So this is the one that I created called wedding photos. And then once it's uploaded, it's going to be in your file manager and you'll want to link to it from wherever you would like people to click to download the photo. So if I wanted this text, for example, to be clickable, I would highlight it. And then I would click on the hyperlink option, my files, and then I would select this zip file just like that. And then that creates a link so that person can hover over this, click on it and begin downloading that entire zip file containing all of the photos in the photo gallery. For this demo, I added an icon. I did that just by going over here and clicking add. 
and then selecting icon. And then I found an icon that was good for downloading just by searching. So I kind of like that icon. I dropped it on the page. I used the handles to resize it. And then I clicked the hyperlink uh, option and then selected that zip file, just like what I showed you a moment ago. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some good ideas on how to build out a photography website and allow your clients to have a unique page where they can not only view an album of the professional photography, but also click to download those in the full resolution if you've already collected money from them or if you're just allowing them to download those full versions um, without collecting anything. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit webstarch.com as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this.